Today we're going to bend a beam of charged particles. So first we need a beam of particles. So let's turn this on. Here we have uh, electrons hitting a phosphorescent screen so we can see them. And they're accelerated uh, in the top here through a voltage difference. So they're all moving downward. And let's see if we can figure out a way to bend these particles. How do we bend these charged particles? Well, we can make use of uh, the Lorentz force, which means that there's going to be a force uh, that depends on moving particles in a magnetic field. So here we have a force in Newtons, we have charge in Coulombs, a velocity in meters per second, and a magnetic field in, in Tesla. And so we're going to get this force. Notice that the force depends on the sign of the charge. So if you have a positive or a negative charge, you're going to have a different direction force. So our negative charges are pointing downward. So our velocity is pointing down. They could enter a magnetic field that's pointing in. Um, and so inward, as it looks like the magnetic field is pointing uh, away from us, we see like the back of an arrow here. That's the reason for this uh, these X's for the B field. And so what is the direction of the force in this case? Well, to figure this out, we would use the right hand rule for positive charges. And the way it works is you put your fingers in the direction of the velocity. You then bend them into the direction of the magnetic field. And your thumb points upward in this case in the direction of the force. So the force is perpendicular to both the velocity and magnetic field. If you have negative charges, like we do, uh, when you have electrons, then you would use your left hand uh, to do this. So looking at our example, the velocity is pointing downward, the charges are negative, the magnetic field is pointing in, and I can bend my fingers in the direction of the velocity, then bend them toward magnetic field, and the force should be to the left. So let's go back over and see if we can construct this example. So here's my beam of particles. Uh, here's my magnetic field here. So this is a, a north and a south, so the magnetic field is pointing up. So I need to bend it like this. And I put it in and I see that indeed the force on these electrons is to the left. Notice that I could change the direction of my magnetic field and see that the force goes in the opposite direction. So we've bent our beam of charged particles. Um, it's not magic. It's physics, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.